Pillow Filler Warriors Against Consensus Reality. It's a, a very, very amusing world we live in at the moment. <laughs> uh, if you actually spend enough time truly looking around and seeing what's going on, it's hilarious. You have the highest level of stupidity that I have ever seen in my 47 years. And um, I'm convinced that these people are carrying on all these ideological brainwashing propaganda bullshit I mean you know with the whole APC thing and the feminism and all the all these other different things the fight against quote unquote fake news all of it all these different threads of the same rope I'm sitting here thinking surely these people cannot truly believe that level of stupidity there has to be more going on and there most probably is and uh, as many of us know there's an increasing agenda to dumb down humanity to continue making us so fucking lazy that we have no desire or even scarily enough ability to do any research of our own into something I mean you have we're reaching a level now where AI is actually re writing um, news articles. I mean, fine. It's currently confined mostly to boring financial stuff, but it's no. There's no longer, in some cases, human oversight. And beloved franchises in anything, whether it be, you know, literature or TV, film, gaming, are being quote unquote subverted. In other words, they're purposely going against what the fans want, i.e., the people who actually give them money. what the fans want and doing the exact opposite now I don't know about you but that's something that people did when they were four or five years old and there's a thread running through the whole thing where regardless of with whatever it is even the recent example of the whole BlizzCon where they released the um, the new mobile Diablo game. <laughs> uh, I just couldn't help but laugh. <laughs> uh, Odin's movie, movie blog, Geeks and Gamers, The Quartering. You guys are hilarious. <laughs> uh, it's a, yeah, um, these fat, lazy whale, land whales are actually spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars and many hours on gaming, right? Uh, no, <laughs> we are predominantly guys. We are the ones that made Diablo what it is. We are the ones who made Star Wars what it is. And so now you have you pathetic, clueless, cowardly little cunts who are literally, you can almost see them literally dripping soy as they speak. Telling us what needs to happen and what should happen and what is, oh, child-friendly. Yeah, that's um, <laughs> their, reason, their reasoning why they got rid of um, Clone Wars, the TV series. Oh, it was becoming too violent. <laughs> just when it was getting better 
halfway through the series, really engaging. They got rid of it when, of course, Disney took over. And what did they give us? Rebels. Resistance. Clueless, spineless piles of crap. Whether it be TV shows, films, whatever. Which has no engagement factor whatsoever. And again, I'm convinced that these things are purposely brought up, brought upon us in the um, to aid the agenda of dumbing everyone down. Meanwhile, those of us who are still avid readers and huge fans of classic liter literature and um, whose vocabulary isn't in the toilet, even though English is our second language. Um, wake up and realize we are living in a stupid zombie apocalypse where more and more people we are surrounded by are stupid fucking morons and of course something as unrelated as the game Diablo at BlizzCon what who gets the blame toxic masculinity right we are now the the boogeyman hiding under your bed. And at first it was feminism and ooh, female empowerment. Now it's everywhere. Now it's everything. More and more things that can be blamed on anything will most probably be blamed on men. And I'm sitting there thinking, okay, firstly, as far as this whole female empowerment thing, right, I was thinking about that during the week. Um, okay, so you go on about gender equality, and yet you expect the support, full support, the full, let me put it this way, the full jackbooted support of the state and uh, corporate um the corporate Borg and all the money, all the power in the world to enforce your female empowerment. How about you sort of shut your fucking face, stop shut, st stop sh shoveling food ceaselessly into your fucking faces, shut the fuck up and improve your own life. And don't expect the whole fucking world to revolve around you and praise you and help you in that endeavor. How about putting the big boy pants on that you so claim you, you want to do and improve your life for yourself and to do the work yourself. See how that works? And yes, last few videos have been more MGTOW based because I'm looking around online and I'm thinking our community is infiltrated by all this fucking clueless, two-faced, lying cunts and those of us who have been doing it for a while need to speak the truth. As I kept saying in my videos, we need to speak the truth now more than ever. Because so much bullshit, so much lies, so much propaganda is being spread wherever you go. Now they have bots screening any possible um, social media posts. I know I tried on Facebook the other day. It didn't go through. <laughs> uh, just to see if, if it would or not. And no, it doesn't. They have algorithms and bots and all fuck knows what else. Um, censoring our truth. Censoring our words. And so now more than ever, it's important to speak the truth wherever you find yourself. Like me at work the other day, when I was leaving, would be closed. And of course, it was a long day, 10 hour shift. 10 hour shift in customer service is like um, a 16 to 18 hour shift anywhere else. <laughs> okay. And, of course, you had a middle-aged 
um, husband and wife, they came back from the cinema and, of course, the wife started to talk shit. And I don't know, ladies, what kind of men, um, clueless, silent, simping men you're used to dealing with, but when you come to my place of work and act like a mouthy cunt, yes, I will call you up on it. And she started using the same typical tired... Don't you people have new material to use? Lying tactics and so forth. And I won't go into the whole sort of detail. Suffice it to say, I almost brought the mouthy cunt to tears. And I proudly claimed that female scalp yesterday. That was fucking fantastic. Meanwhile, the husband was apologetic, and I actually thanked the man for the apology, because at least one of them were a half-decent human fucking being. And that helped me realise that, you know what, enough of this keeping it to yourself and being nice and sort of keeping the peace, no, the time for that is over. Speak your truth, call people out on their bullshit, hold up the mirror, and if they get all butthurt and whatever, let them. Um, It's gone way beyond any sort of typical nice response, because we're all being lied to. We're all being lied to. We are kept stupid, tired, passive, broke, and in debt. They don't care about us. Nothing that the government or the corporate Borg do is in our best interest. I hope most of you realise that by now. And so now it's more important than ever before to engage in individualism. Especially creativity. That's another thing they're trying to leech away from human society. Where are the great writers? We're the great composers. We're the great fucking artists anymore. And no, I don't mean putting a um, an old um, painted pink boot on a bit of plastic in an art gallery and calling that art. No, that's not art. That's crap. Where are your Claude Monet's? Where are your Vincent van Gogh's? Where are your Surat's? Where are all these fucking wonderful art? Where are your um, William Blake's? They don't fucking exist anymore because everyone's going to university now and doing fucking gender studies and uh, fuck knows what all useless piece of shit um, university degrees. Gender studies degree. You're getting into debt for $100,000 for what? A gender studies degree. Seriously. Ugh. As, as, as Charles Dickens would say in one of his books, I'll retire to Bedlam. <laughs> the Lone Wolf on guitar. Out.